Hello everybody, this video is on uh, classification of antiarrhythmic drugs and I'm going to follow Singh Won Williams classification. There are a couple of other classifications out there. One is the Sicilian Gambit classification, the other one is Oxford classification. But for this video, let's focus on Singh Won Williams classification. Essentially, it's divided into five classes, one, two, three, four, and five. Class one is subdivided into A, B, C. And these are all sodium channel blockers and 1A actually prolongs the action potential. And uh, how to remember, we have a double quarter pounder uh, as a mnemonic and you have disoperamide, quinidine, procainamide. Go to 1B, they are also sodium channel blockers, but they shorten the action potential. And examples, lettuce, mayo and tomato, that's the mnemonic for you, easy way to remember. Lidocaine, mexalitine, and tokenide. And another mnemonic that I can give you is LMP, last menstrual period, which is lidocaine, uh, mexalitine, and P is phenytoin actually here. Class 1C, also sodium channel blockers, but they do not have action uh, or any prolongation or shortening on action potential. And uh, examples, more fries please, morcizine, fleconide, and propofenol. Another mnemonic you can have is family planning. Remember at least two drugs, fleconide and propofenone. Class two, essentially beta blockers, they have the anti-sympathetic nervous system activity. And you know that they all, all the beta blockers end with lol. So easier to remember, you have propanolol, atenolol, metoprolol, esmolol, and all the lols. And uh, class three, essentially they are uh, they have the action on potassium channel, they are potassium channel blockers, and the mnemonic is SAD, S-A-D, Sotalol, Amiodarone, and Dophilitide. Remember, Sotalol is a beta blocker, and uh, but then it has a class 3 activity. Specifically, D-Sotalol has class 3 activity. Amiodarone, very good drug for new onset atrial fibrillation, and uh, is very notorious for uh, a huge range of side effects. And also to note, it has a very long uh, plasma half-life and it could last for two months in the blood. And it's, it's also called, uh, dubbed as a 100-day drug. Class 4 is essentially calcium channel blockers. Your examples are diltiazem and verapamil. Uh, and your class 5, like I said, it's uh, unclassified in the sense that the mechanism of action doesn't belong to or relate to any of the other four classes. So unknown mechanism and... Uh, uh, and how to remember a mnemonic for three of the drugs there is MAD MAD, M is magnesium sulfate, A is adenosine, and D is digoxin. These are the five classes, and, uh, and, and, and these are the mnemonics for you to remember. I have a picture here uh, of the cardiac action potential, and I'm trying to depict uh, where these classes of drugs would act. They are not in the order of class one, two, three, four. Please note that. And you have uh, five phases in the uh, uh, action potential curve and uh, zero, one, two, three, four. And uh, you see class one acts on the depolarization phase, uh, four on the plateau phase, class three, the potential channels on the repolarization phase, and class two on the resting membrane potential area. So how do we remember? It's not in the order of one, two, three, four. It's actually one, four, three, two. So easy way to remember again is uh, one, four, three, two. One, four, three stands actually for I love you. And if someone says I love you and you want to reciprocate in a positive uh, manner, then you will say I love you too. And that will be one, four, three, two. So hope all these mnemonics and tips to remember will help you to classify and remember the anti arrhythmic drugs. Thank you. LSCS, another mnemonic. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video. Signing off.